What's up, what's up, what's up, boys and girls? My name is Plant Powers, and this is Welcome to Elk, a very interesting and uh, uniquely looking adventure game set on the fictional islands where the stories and the characters, or the, the characters are fictional, but the stories told by the characters are all real, told by people out there in the wild, <laughs> out there in the real world and uh, stitched together into this one narrative. So this is going to be very interesting, I think. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? He does have a very cool, unique looking aesthetic to it. I spoke in to Anders om det var sand han var død tre gange. Anders han var født og opvokset på en vej der hedder Pine Road ude i skovene. Og der var gik han ind til elk hver dag. All right, here we go, act one. <laughs> Story about Anders. Is it? No. Not sure what that little uh, dialogue at the end was. Well, here we are, missus. All right, playing with the remotes. As you can see, the game is uh, Elk Islands. We're finally here. Thank you, Jeppe. Oh, and again, you can just call me Frigg. With pleasure, Mrs. Frigg. So I just need a moment to get these air supplies off the ship. Then I'll show you our, your way. Howdy! Just saw the ferry coming in. Good to see you well, Jeppe. And you must be Frigg. Uh, nice seeing you too, Jan. Right then. Guess I'll get cracking on with this cargo. Jan? Ah, it's so nice to finally meet you. My dad's told me so much about you. Nice to meet you, Frick. Nice to meet you too, Frick. Why don't we walk on up and talk? Everyone's waiting at the hermit bar for you. Jeppe, you okay loading everything on the trailer? Ain't no problem, Jen. Oh, but I mean... I'm fine to carry my own bag? Don't you worry, Mrs. Frick. I'll bring your bag with the shipment I'm carrying. Ain't that... He ain't nothing. Uh, mm, okay, sure. Thanks again, Jeppe. Alright, so as you can see, the game has this uh, very cartoony art style to it. Kind of cool, though. And <laughs> the way the characters walk around, and this like little jog and hippity hop. Uh, let's go follow Jen. See the rest of the townsfolk, shall we? I like that the characters are all colored and the rest of the environments are like bland. First things first. Let me point out where you're we're going to be working together. This here is my workshop. Wow. It looks so big. Can't wait to get started. Eh, that's good to hear. But we'll leave that till tomorrow. Just wait just want you to try and get your bearings. Okay, consider it hatched into my brain. Great, let's keep moving. Okie dokie. Now tomorrow we'll come here, I guess. Not sure what kind of a workshop is it, but it looks like he makes boats, maybe? Whoa, is that a boat you're building? Sure is. A bit of a passion project of mine. It's gonna be quite special when it's done. It looks great already. Well, thank you. Uh, maybe he doesn't build boats. Maybe this is just a passion project. Okay. Maybe he does work with wood or something. He's a carpenter. So anyway, how is your pa? He's good. Busy. Works. Work keeps him busy. So he hasn't changed a bit then. Seems to enjoy it though. He loves telling stories of uh, when the two of you were together. And he said that I wouldn't find a better carpenter to study under. Ah, he did, did he? Well, alright then. Guess we'll see. Okay, so I'm an apprentice carpenter. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, that's quit is holding a knife. Yeah, I'm not getting any closer. Let me see if I can inter interact with these guys as well. Those sure are some fresh fish. Still moving about. Alright, Jan, lead the way. Here we are. But before we go in, I should tell you. You've arrived during our early celebration of Mr. Nolan. Or the old brewer, as we call him. 
he um, left quite an impression on these islands. Oh, so it's not a happy celebration? Well, the man certainly rubbed the people the wrong way. <laughs> but we still tried to have some fun with it. You see, the old brewer liked this lobster. So to celebrate, we all eat lobster and drink beer. But it's easier to show than tell. Come on, let's head on in. What's this here? Nolan beer. Oh, cool, a vending machine. It... The hell? <laughs> oh... Oh, I lost it. Damn it. There's some barrels here that say Nolan as well. Wait. Oh, it, it doesn't dispense any more plush toys. Who is that cute little guy? No idea. Can I take him? Alright, let's go in. Let's not waste any more of Jen's time. Hermits. Here we go. Bunch of people here. Ah, and this must be her. How you doing, Frigg? I'm Ingrid. So nice to finally meet you. It was really kind of you both to take me in. Ah, uh, well, it's our pleasure. It's swell to finally meet Morton's daughter. I won't lie to you, living on this island ain't no picnic. But all the same, we're more than happy to have you here. Thanks! I'm excited to be here. Uh, shall we go and conversate with the rest of the people? Uh-oh. Looks like we have we got a stranger in town. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Clara, the island sheriff. And I'm Martin, the island nurse. Come on, Martin, tell her. You ain't just a nurse. You're a real doctor. But I'm not a real doctor. Martin! Ugh. Technically, I'm the island's doctor. By the process of elimination. Ah, cool. Well, my mum's a nurse. And... Oh, my name is Frigg. Nice to meet you, Frigg. Likewise. Just make sure you uh, stay out of trouble, you hear? Wow. Smooth, Clara. Okay. Hello there. Hey, hey, next round, please, Bobby. Sure, uh, Sue, Han, don't you want to pace yourself a little? Where's the fun in that? Plus, you know, hic <gasps> Oops, I was going to say hiccup, but ended up hiccuping myself. Anyways, uh, you love it when I'm tipsy. Hi! Sorry, am I interrupting? I'm Frigg. Not at all, Han. It's a pleasure. Ain't you a sight on these old eyes? Come on, you... They ain't old. Yeah, my name's <gasps> Sue. And I'm Bobby. I own and run the bar here on these rocks. How about I get you a drink? Uh, thanks. Uh, can I get... Can I have a beer? Are we old enough to drink? Just came on the island already drinking. Seems like a party island. Uh, why don't you go mingle and I'll pour it for you. Thank you. Alright, let's continue with the mingle. I would never do this at the bar, <laughs> to be honest. This guy is looking rather weary in the corner here. When will Mr. Nolan show up for his party? For the last time, Anders, he's dead. Oh, he's Anders. But aren't we all? Oh yeah, because that, that was the silhouette at the beginning as well. Or aren't we all? Wow, this guy is a bit dark. A bit deep. Uh, hi there. Mom, look at her hair. Shh, Freddy. Hi there, love. You must be Frick. <laughs> Frick. Ingrid said we were getting a new guest. Uh, yeah, um, it's actually Frigg. But nice to meet you all. Uncle Jeppy's here. I was wondering where you were getting to. Hi there, girls. It's nice to see you. Hi, Mr. Anders. Mrs. Frigg, I dropped your bag off at the house you're staying at. Ah, oh, wow. Thank you again, Jeppy. Nothing to, nothing to it, Mrs. Come here, you. Let me get you a drink. Nope. Oh. Okay, what about these people here? Ugh. It, is, it does warm me to see us celebrating my pappy like this. I thought everyone hated the bastards. What? A preposterous. Yeah, I mean, didn't you, like, close down this brewery? Well, um... Oh, oh, well, look, at the, look, a new face. Hello there, my girl. Come introduce yourself. My name is Mr. Boo. Hi. Wait, another mister? Like Mr. Nolan? The guy whose party this is for? Indeed, he was my late pappy. You gonna keep talking dead people or are you gonna introduce us? Oh, of course. Here, where are my manners? Frig, allow me to introduce my house guests. Marge. Yep. And Victor. Babe, you're supposed to say something. I ain't no good at this shit. Uh, hello? 
Um, hi to the both of you. Okay, I'm getting tired of uh, this yakking. Me and this baby bump are thirsty. Ah, yes, yes, of course. My deepest apologies, I should get us drinks. Uh, perhaps we can talk another time, my girl? Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, they were an interesting group. Okay, everyone, you all know what time is it? Time to play the old brewer for the brewer bastards. Oh, come on now, do we really need to that language? Ingrid, don't you start defending that man in my bar. <clears throat> if I may kindly interject, as the offspring of my dear departed puppy, I wish to say I do enjoy these traditional drinking games. Therefore, I give approval on his behalf. Hey, hey, see there, we have it. Okay, new girl, frog. Come on, you're up. Uh, not sure what I have to do. But sure, sounds fun. Round one, what the hell's going on? Okay, frog, are you ready? Uh, it's frig. And what do I do? Uh, <laughs> just copy me. Okay, nice. Do the Y, and do the B, and do the X, and the Y, and the B, O, Y, X. Wow, nice blitz. Round two. Okay, looks like you're getting it. I'm gonna start getting tricky. Bring it on. <laughs> I got this. Oh! Uh, she was wrong drink, yeah. She faked the, the X. I thought she was going for the X. Oh, she inverted the thing as well. Damn. Alright. Round three, this is gonna be... <laughs> Remember, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, exa exactly. Just follow the colors. What? Wrong. Oh, she didn't. She she said to do nothing. Okay, I got. I got. Last round. Try and keep up. Okay. How do you have so much energy? She had the. She had five points. She has five points before this. Come on, we got this. Bottoms up, only have to drink twice. <laughs> well done, Frug. Look at our face, we're already pissed. Uh, <laughs> Evening, fuckheads. Nope. Oh, I can't burp. Burp. <laughs> I was gonna try. Mom. Well, well. Who the fuck is this then? Ah, Leroy, my boy. Uh, nice of you to join the celebrations with us. Um, looks like he's been doing some celebrating on his own. Shut it. You know I'd rather drink my own piss than shite than sh shite. You serve here. Victor, who's the new girl? Uh, hi, my name's Shh. Quiet there, my petal. Let's not rush things with that pretty mouth of yours. <laughs> uh huh. Um. Is, uh, she's some girl helping out, Jen, Leroy. Is that right? Well, maybe she could help me out instead. Fuck knows I'm needing it. Um. Uh, that's rather creepy. How about a cool beer instead, Leroy? I thought I said shut the fuck up. Can't you see I'm trying to be fucking charming here to my new special friend? I, um... Uh, excuse me. But Frog here was my new special friend first. Too quiet down, it's dangerous. Ah, cute. But seriously, fuck off, would you? Me and Petal here are gonna go find a nice, quiet place to get to know each other. I said she was... My fern first. Ha ha ha. What do you think, you piddly glass is gonna hurt me? Glass can hurt? Um. <laughs> what? Well, I need a sue. My sue. 
You okay, hun? <laughs> so, what do you know? It doesn't hurt. Oh, oh my lord, too. That was great. Again, again. What a... Oh, I'm done with this shite. Victor, Marge, let's get the fuck away from these weirdos. That means you too, boo man. Me? Well, alright, um, yes, of course. Uh, lovely celebrations, everyone. We'll meet again, Petal, don't you fucking worry. <laughs> God, is that his posse or something? Good riddance. Let's have some... Let's, uh, let's all have another drink to wash out that bad taste. I, um, gonna get a bit of fresh air quickly. Am I following them? Poor thing. That man is absolutely the worst. Is that, it's the absolute worst. I better go check on her. Hi, Frig. Uh, I'm awful sorry for all that. Not exactly the best fresh impression. We have our fair share of problems here on Elk. And Leroy, he's one of the worst. I won't lie. He did make me feel uncomfortable. But... But I'm fine. I think. Everyone else seemed nice. But maybe... Maybe I'll call it tonight? Well, I wouldn't blame you. I'd better give you this map to help you get around then. There's a house all ready for you. Doors unlocked, just so just settle in and make yourself at home. Oh, that <gasps> sounds great. Um, you sure you can manage? You seem a little drunk. Oh, no, don't worry. I've got this. Want, want you to know I can handle myself. Well, all right then. Guess I'll see you tomorrow. I better go back inside and see what's happening. Nice to have you here, Frig. It's nice to be here. Oh god, Frig. Oh wow. I guess <gasps> I am a little drunk. Uh, I think I can see shrimp. Right. <gasps> and then... <laughs> Let's have a look at this map. There's a plane crash right there. Uh, easy. I'll be at the house in... No time. <laughs> Just have to go past the giant... Uh, reptile, dinosaur, skull, face, whatever that is. Playing a, a crash plane and uh, we're home. Easy as pie, I think. Uh, where the hell am I? Right, we're at Hermit Bar. Oh my god, the controls are all wonky as well. <laughs> so if uh, they keep switching, oh there we go. Whoa, hey, hey they've got not a big smile. Huh. Is that whale skull? Could be a whale skull. Um, so let's see, past the skull up here think all these houses are on sticks like hot dogs like little hot dogs <gasps> on sticks yeah <laughs> oh no frig <laughs> damn just oh god I stepped on it <laughs> the the controllers keep changing um, randomly the directions that's quite cool uh, let's see we need to find a crashed plane boutique and that says there um is this Elka real? Is this my house? Oh god. Hey, look! It's a house. Is this my house? This <gasps> is my house. Is a house. Oh, sorry. Actually, can I, I can't check the map more again. I swear I had to go through a. This must be home. I don't even care. So drunk and tired. I'll work it out. <gasps> Tomorrow. Is this my... <laughs> fuck it. Oh, let me get into bed, please. Up the stairs. Oh, God. Um, let's try not to fall. That bed looks so good. Alright, nice. Uh, we landed safely. We only had two two drinks, I think. Um, I'm on a boat. But I only just got here? And who's that? Like, that's Anders, right? Hi, Frigg. What? Wait. I know you. You were at the bar. But... Aren't we still at the bar? Oh, sure, Frigg. We can be at the bar. Oh, yeah. See? I knew we were at the bar. Right? This is our <laughs> recollection of uh, tonight's events. We're still freaking drunk, though. God, let me just get, get to Anders. Oh, hey. Hey, it's you again. Hi, Frig. You were the weird guy at the bar. And on the boat. Crapper. Wait, I mean, you're not weird. I just mean that you look weird. I mean... Oh, 
Okay, l um, let's talk later. Hi there. Hi there, Ferg. It's so kind of you to let me stay, and even though you're, like, old, I'm sure we can be friends, right? I mean, I'm not saying you are old, it's just that you are? Thank you, Frig. Um, sure, no problem, <laughs> I guess. However, if you were old, there's nothing wrong being with being old, right? Uh, what I mean is, just stop talking, please. I'm just gonna stand over there. Yeah, better. The Mr. Guy! Hey, Frig. You were funny. Not that it's bad to be funny. Wait, if it's bad, then it's bad? But I don't mean that you're bad, unless you are bad? Thank you, Frigg. Oh my gosh, sorry, I don't think you are bad. Now you're gonna think that I'm bad. But I'm not bad. I'm just gonna go, I'm sorry. Ugh, this is the worst. I'm the worst. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Those conversations turned awkward real quick. Ugh, my head. Did I really say all that last night? Ugh. Probably not. Probably yes. <laughs> Don't make any sense. Okay, time for a palate cleanser. I'm sure I'll feel better once I unpack a little. So this is our place. Okay, good. The build a house, talk, eat, kiss, and die game from the makers of same same but different. Geek Gelk games. Okay, kind of looks like the Sims cover. I know it's silly, but I can't help but carry this game everywhere I go. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a computer to play on. Yeah, <laughs> guess old habits die hard. Okay, so what should I unpack next? Yeah, that's clear uh, reference for uh, The Sims. Let's have a look. Robo Troll was sent from the future to live under bridges and rock out. Becky Blo Block Bas Blaster was one of my first limited edition toys, both playful and deadly. Dino Detective getting straight A's while still finding time to take a bite out of crime. Mutant Turtle Bear Mechanic always less letting me know I can be whatever I want to be. Okay, you and me, Robo Troll, rocking out the new digs. Uh, I had to select one, okay. That's fine. Look how cute this fire is. Wish it wasn't so crap at heating up this house, though. Yeah, I mean, if you sit by the lounge here, I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, it's packed with foods. Uh, looks like a fridge full of elk delicacies. Yum. I'm sure. Okay, what? Is there anything else I need to unpack? Something up here? Yeah. Uh, picked this up on the day me and mum walked around Dire Haven. It was a, on a warm, lush autumn day. No idea why this guy is stuck in the toast, but it's so cute. I still got it for me, and I just love it. Uh, let's go with the cats. In honor of Isla, I will award you this prized spot, little toasty cats. I hope I make new friends here. Gonna be hard being away from home. Uh, so we have two here. Uh, oh, I love this cartoon. Still can't believe they cancelled it. I hope it gets renewed somehow. Left behind. A road trip movie from Triple Topping, the Dead Pet Society. I worship this band. I know they're still pretty uncommon, but one day they're gonna be huge. Hey, let's put up the music poster in. Yeah, that looks awesome. Hope it isn't too long until I can see them live again. Phew, that's better. Although, real crapper, I can't see any internet. I can ask Jan about it. Or Jan. Is it Jan? I think it's Jan. I should really head down to this workshop though, anyway. Still feels pretty rough though. Yeah, it's probably Jan, because I think we're in... Uh, is Elk a real place? And if it would be, would it be... In Norway, perhaps? Hey, someone here is a really good painter. This looks like it's from something really cool. Looks like giant red toads. Mixed with the, one of those ghosts from um, Pac-Man. Oh my god. Was that me? That's horrible. It smells so bad. I really hope it disappears before someone sees it. Yeah, maybe we can clean it up. Oh, I'm just stepping on it. That's disgusting. <laughs> Alright, so we're here. The plane crash. Or the crashed planes should be. There we go. This plane was has above written on it. I guess we know where it fell from then. 
Uh, where am I going? Yeah, to the to the workshop. There's another. There's a couple more. Yeah. <laughs> Poles of uh, vomit around. Is this their national flag? Is that a llama? This with the tie. That's pretty <laughs> cool. Bunch of kids drawing. Oh, that's the scolle. Scolle. School. So far, I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. I like the like the subtle, like real conversations. I guess the dialogue isn't that uh, ludicrous, and it it just feels natural, you know. And plus, this soundtrack in the back, these little jingles, they're quite cool, actually. All right, let's go. First work day with a hangover. Nice. Obviously, I'm on top of the situation. Um, alright then. But if you need the hands, you just let me know. That man is definitely nothing but trouble. Anyway, I'll get this tool fixed up for you. Well, that is just fantastic. You really do have a magic touch, Yan. In that case, I'll leave you to it. Besides, look like looks like you have a visitor. Morning. Sorry if I'm a little late. No apologies necessary. Last night must have been a lot to take in. You get home okay? Huh. From the trail of stomach shrimp she left, I would say she got home okay. Oh no! You saw it? I'm so sorry. It was hard to miss. It looks like you were trying to paint the whole island. But no, don't you worry. We'll take care of it. You're our new guest after all. Maybe think to bring a bucket next time? <laughs> With you next time? Oh crapper. It won't happen again, I swear. Ha. Well... Uh, we got a good laugh out of it. So did the whole town. Anyway, I'll be going, Jan. Thanks again. Uh huh. Uh huh. <clears throat> uh -huh. <clears throat> this workshop is amazing, Jan. There's so much to look at. Very kind of you to say. So listen, I know you'll be eager to s get started today, but I think you'd benefit having a day to get ac accustomed to your new home. Take the time to wander around to explore the islands. Oh, really? I was kind of hoping to get stuck in. I'd be happy to help you with that boat outside. It looks stunning. Ah, well, don't worry. It's not gonna. It's not going anywhere fast. Trust me. Take the day for yourself. Talk to some people. Um. Okay. Sure. I guess. Only because you're insisting. But I'm gonna work twice as hard tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. But for now, enjoy yourself. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see some things, but I'll tell you. I'll see you later. Okay. That's fine, Yan. You do you, I'll do me. Uh, yep. I once sliced the tip of my finger off on a circular saw. I should probably keep that to myself and not tell Yan. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm just gonna mess with your uh, stuff here. Wood goes up, wood goes down. Nice and easy. There's a mechanical bird there in a the cage. What is this? I always find sanding things super therapeutic. Oh, it's a sander, okay. Not sure why you call that. Electronic, electric, mechanical sander. Anyways, let's explore the island, shall we? Talk to some peeps, make some friends. So much for getting stuck in on my first day. Bah, I'd much rather help out on these uh, awesome boats. Although, I guess it is nice to take it easy with this hangover. Yeah, don't want to be working with uh, hard tools. Uh, with a hangover now, do we? So this is telling us to go up to our house again? So maybe we're just gonna take a nap, lie in bed, take the rest of the day up. What was that rustling? Is someone following me? Wait. Hello? Someone here? Our uh, face has turned into a... Quite a bit worrisome. Uh, okay, it definitely feels like someone's following me. What if it's that gross guy from last night? Shit, just trying to stay calm. Shit. What do you want, you motherfucker? Come out. Um, maybe I'm just imagining things. Ah, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Ghosts can be scary, I know. Uh, um, yeah, you kind of did scare me. Um, 
Weren't you at the bar last night? We didn't really get to... Wait! Did you just say ghosts? Ah, yes. It makes sense, because you're new. Always happens with the new ones. I'm sorry to tell you this, but we're dead. I'm sorry, what? Trust me, I know all about dying. I nearly died a hundred times, maybe more. So when I say we're dead, now I mean it. Because you never forget the day you actually do die. Let me explain. You see, I used to work as a fisherman. I'm sure I was a pretty good one too. But one night out on the sea, something was wrong. I could feel it in my bones. The clouds darkened and the water jumped and smashed me with one big mighty punch. I felt the wet all around me, inside and out. I knew that finally this time I would be dead for sure. True enough, when I opened my eyes, here I was. I had arrived in the afterlife elk. Um, I guess I can see why you would think that. Yes, exactly. Now you get it. But that isn't all. I need your help, Frigg. Please follow me. Okay. Where else, weird guy? I'll just follow you. Where are you going? Oh, what's this? Such a sneaky way to hide beer. Someone's it. Someone had an even bigger party than us last night. Oh, this is an abandoned house here. Oh, it's the old boutique. Okay. Wait. Anders, why did you bring me to a cave? This is my home. What? Come on in. Uh, okay. Not, nothing weird about this. Wow, this actually seems really cozy. And, oh my gosh, you have a rabbit? Yeah, that's Klumben. She's my best friend. She's so cute. Oh yes, Klumben is the best. But for, for the reason I brought you here, Frigg, I wanted to talk to you about my parents. Uh, okay. Has this got anything to do with the thinking you're dead? We're all dead here, Frigg. Um, of course, I didn't mean to be rude. Please continue. It's like an episode of uh, Lost. Everyone's dead on the island. Spoilers, sorry. <laughs> uh, well, you see, I never knew my parents. They died when I uh, was really young. Must mean they're here in the afterlife too. But I still can't find them. Maybe if I could remember what they look like. I'd be sure to know it's them when I see them. Okay, that sounds logical. So what's the plan? Well, I've collected these funny people papers. I think they can help me. They'll help me find mum and dad's. Uh-huh. So where do I come in? Well, I thought, if you have a mum and dad's, you'll know what parents are supposed to look like. Which means you'll know what mine should look like. Um, well... Um... I guess I can give it a shot. Oh, he's... Oh, man, it kind of makes me feel sad now. First, I just thought he was weird, but I think he's clearly, uh... Delusional something psychological anyways uh i bet my dad looks really beautiful like a famous singer okay so i just has a nice uh, mouth i guess i'll give him a nice uh, sturdy nose one of these bad boys yep uh let me see if i can find an identical eye actually let's give him some glasses why not There we go. <laughs> I just... <laughs> just poop the seal of approval when you're done. The seal of approval. Perfect. And my mom is something, someone really important, like a ship captain or a banker. Right, 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 right. Uh, let's give her a nice big old smile as well. Nice. Big eyes. There we go. Um, she has uh, atrochromia, that's why the her eyes are different. And a soft, perky nose. Damn, he's a hottie. <laughs> there we are, amazing frig. That must be what they look like. Let me just put them up here. Wow. They totally don't look creepy. 
Oh, thanks to you, Frigg. I'm sure to find my parents now. I know... Let me get you a drink as thanks. Okay, sure, that sounds fun. I think one of the faces just winked at me. Can I have a non-alcoholic drink, please? I mean, I know it's the hair of the dog and all that, but... I'd rather not... He has a whole barrel of Nolan beer up here. Damn. Who is this doggy? Hot dog. <laughs> Look at that adorable dog. Alright. Shall we go outside, or...? So, Frigg, how did he die? Uh, I didn't, Anders. Is it nighttime already? Damn. Oh, time just flies when you're in a cave having fun, I guess. And this, uh, the game takes a whole, a whole another uh, perspective when you know the stories are told by actual people or real people. Real stories, I mean. Uh, where is... Oh, there he is. Beer time! Uh, can ghosts drink beer, Anders? Yes! Beer time! I guess if you ask a stupid question, you get a stupid answer. I'm not drinking again, excuse me, but... Right then, that should do it. Finally get this here old tinker, tinker working again. Good job there, Yepe. Yepe or Jepe, now I'm confused. Uh, knew you'd get it working. Oh, yay! The music box is working. Hello. Well, aren't you two just in time? We were needing an extra pair of lungs. Whoa. Is that a karaoke machine? Oh, you betcha it is. My Yepe loves it when I sing, don't you? Beth has the voice of hundred sparrows. She goes Mrs. She does Mrs. Frigg. Actually, I wouldn't mind hearing a tune now, my darling. Hold up. I better get this little lady back to ours for her sleepover then. Let the grown-ups do their thing. Oh, but I want to hear them s the singing. Hey now, Sweetie. Remember, I said you would be with Jan and Ingrid tonight. You get going and me and you can sing duets tomorrow. Promise. Okay, you promise. Night, y'all. Don't doddle. Daddle? Don't daddle on the way home. Weather's looking nasty. So, how about how about it, new girl? Join me for the next song? Go ahead, Frigg. I'll get us a beer. Ah, <laughs> okay, sure. No laughing at my singing, though. Oh god, please don't make me sing. <laughs> Okay, Frigg, let's see what you got. So I've danced so far, and now I'm singing. It's a very artistic game. Wow, that's a pretty voice you got there. Yeah. I love it. Let's get this whole island moving. Got this auto-tune going here. Trying to follow her <laughs> the tone, but I can't get get it right. Let's see if I get this right. Is it done? Oh, it's, I guess it's done. Okay. Bravo, you two! You got quite a voice there, Frig. Woo! Hey. That was fun. Oh, thanks. I gotta agree. You sound pretty good together. You enjoy that, Happy, my dear? You girls surely warm this here art of mine. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna start closing down. Any of you still need a drink? Not for me, thanks. I need to go feed Klumben. Frigg, thanks again for today. Yeah, sure. Uh, Go on then, Mrs. Bobby. Be good to have one last beer before I'm back out on the waters tomorrow. Hey, you, remember to not get too carried away. Not unless you want to spend the night on your own. Oh, don't you worry. Just one more for the roads. Uh, okay, fine. 
In that case, I'll walk back with this little lady. And get ready for you. Okay, darling? Oh ho, right you are. I'll soon be following. Righty then. Come on, you. You coming? Okay, sure. As long as I'm not a bother. You? A bother? Ha! Ah. Like as if I didn't already know what a real problem looks like. Come on then, let's get a shake on. Night, Bobby. Night, Hans. Walk back safe and stay warm. From the looks of it, we're getting one of those cold blasts coming in. I think it's gonna be a nasty one. Alright, see you. See ya. Whoa, Beth, look, it's snowing. It's adorable. But, and look, this isn't to be a downer, but snow is pretty common around here. Hey, oh, right. Sorry, it's just we don't get a lot of snow in Copenhagen. So, um, anyway, is Yeppe your boyfriend? Ah, no. I mean, the man is a sweetheart, don't get me wrong. But no, he's my, how do I put it? He's my client. Uh, um? <laughs> what are you stumbling for? Look, it may not sound glamorous, especially to a city girl, I'm sure. All you need to know is Yeppe is a good man. He makes my life easier for me and my girl. God knows that Freddy likes having him around, even if she doesn't understand the arrangements. He's good with her when he doesn't need to be, and I'm really grateful for that. Seems really nice. He is. I just hope Freddy doesn't forget about her dad, George. He was a great man. Trust me, sweetie. We haven't always had it easy. I'm sorry to hear that. Hmm. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll tell you about it one day. But no, no need to be sorry. You see this smile on my face? I got plenty to smile about. Anyways, I'm freezing. We should probably get heading on our separate ways. Thanks for being so welcoming, Beth. I enjoy the singing. You really do have a beautiful voice. Oh, you're sweet. I'll invite you around for some squirrel stew with me and Freddy sometimes. But you get home and wrap up. Bobby wasn't kidding about that cold coming in. The snow ain't a joke. Okay, thanks again, Beth. Did she say squirrels too? Haha, <laughs> maybe I'm hearing things. I should head to bed. Alright, I think I'm gonna take a quick break right here and then we'll head home and finish up the day. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying my time with this game. I mean, it's very simplistic. It's nothing out there in terms of gameplay. But uh, I'm really enjoying getting to know the characters a bit more. And especially because they're told... Uh, they're tall tales from real people. You really, I think we're, we're really going, going to connect with the characters and really understand where they're coming from and all their stories. They seem quite interesting so far. There's a guy who thinks we're in an island uh, in like purgatory or the afterlife. And this girl just now um, we immediately forgot her name, but uh, she has this weird arrangement with the uh, fisherman. It's quite... There's quite a story behind it, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, learn all about it in the coming episodes. Let me know what you boys and girls think in the comments below if you want to. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.